My name is Bill Crick, and I'm the Director of Literature Ministries for the Pacific Union Conference. God uses his followers to reach other people. And one method he uses is literature. One day, I was pumping gas, and an SUV drove in on the other side of the pump, and a well-dressed lady got out and began to pump, to pump gas into her car. I thought I should give her a glow tract, and I said, no, she's probably busy, she wouldn't want to be interrupted. But the thought kept coming to me strongly, so I finally went around the pump and handed her a glow tract or two, and I simply said with a smile, here's something for you to read. And that's my approach, because you know, uh, it needs to be very simple and, and, and not complicated. I immediately turned around to return to my car, but she said, wait, what denomination is this? And I said, I'm, I'm a Seventh-day Adventist Christian. And she said, oh, when I was a child, I attended the Adventist church, and I received literature like this. Isn't there a church around here? She came to church and she was eventually baptized. Glowing takes some guts, but it's fun and it's rewarding. And this month is restaurant month in the Glow Action Calendar. Think about what restaurants you like to visit the most. There's a variety of ways you can glow at, at a restaurant. You can leave a tract with your tip. You can give a tract to the cashier. You can share a tract with the person at the drive-thru. I have a friend who says that he gets great responses handing tracts through the drive-thru window at Taco Bell. Another one of my young friends from Los Angeles influenced her parents to begin glowing. And they began leaving glow with the tips that they left at the end of their meals. One particular server expressed interest in the tracts and in spiritual things and a conversation led to a friendship, which eventually ended in the server accepting Jesus and Jesus' last day message and baptism. What can you do to glow at restaurants this month? I challenge each of us to try it. And remember, God uses his followers to reach other people. And one method he uses is literature.